So was, <laughs> was, my partner, we started out with this guy named Steve Wozniak, brilliant, brilliant guy. He writes this basic that is like the best basic on the planet. It does stuff that no other basic's ever done. You don't have to run it to find your error messages. It finds them when you type it in and stuff. It's perfect in every way, except for one thing, which is it's, it's just fixed point, right? It's not, it's not floating point. And so we're getting a lot of input that people want this basic to be floating point. And like we're begging Woz, please, please make this floating point. Who's we? How many people are in Apple? Well, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're begging Woz to make this floating point. And he, he just never does it, you know? And he wrote it by hand on paper. I mean, you know, he didn't, we, he didn't have an assembler or anything to write it with. It was all just written on paper and he'd type it in. He just never got around to making a Why? floating point. Why? Well, this is one of the mysteries of life. I don't know, <laughs> but he never did. And so, you know, Microsoft had this very popular, really good floating point basic that we ended up going to them and saying, help. And, and, and how much was the, I think you were telling us earlier? Oh, it was $31,000. That Apple uh, paid you for For that. the floating point basic. And I flew out to Apple. I spent two days there getting the cassette. The cassette tapes were the main ways that people stored things at the time. <laughs> right. Uh, and, you know, that was fun. 